when a 27-year-old woman known as Farkunda was violently beaten and killed in the heart of Kabul by a mob accusing her of burning the Quran in March this year, the world was shocked, as were so many Afghans. Advances made for women since US-led troops ousted the Islamist Taliban in 2001 are held up as one of the wins of the war, but women are still regularly sidelined from political life and subject to violence in public and at home. Farkunda's death and recent attacks on schoolgirls by the Taliban, who claim to have unleashed poisonous gas in their classroom, highlight the fact that there's still a long way to go. On the 19th of October, a course at Kabul University started, with hopes that thought, insight and awareness on women from an academic point of view could help empower Afghan women and also spread awareness of women's rights, which could in future promote equality in society as well as the workplace. The 18 female and 10 male students will study gender issues as well as issues related to gender violence in the programme funded by South Korea and run by the UN Development Programme in coordination with the government. The project is not without its critics, who argued the course just delves in foreign notions of gender. When the course was presented to the Ministry of Higher Education, it took two months to be approved. However, professors involved in the course said the studies were essential and were relevant as they would take into account the Afghan social context. Nevertheless, Kabul University is a somewhat unlikely host, having been the stage for heated protests against women's rights. In 2013, hundreds of students marched against the elimination of violence against women law, objecting to its secular foundations. Under the Taliban's interpretation of Islam, who came to power in 1996, women and girls were banned from public life, including going to school and working, and had to wear a full-body burqa when venturing outside. Millions of girls have gone back to school in the last 14 years since the fall of the Taliban, but access to higher education has been limited.